Well, guys, for the first time in three years, a new update for Battlefront 2 has been released. Let's see it in action. Once this update, once this update completes, it, it's not going to take long. So, we'll just jump cut once we get into the game. See what's changed. And, uh, yeah. So, hey guys, it's me, Kermat7, and welcome to a Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. This time, it, we are looking at the brand new update that the game has given us. After three years, we have finally gotten a new update. And the first difference is that, well, the menus are full screen now. Which is alright. Pretty good. Like this 16 by 9. But however, people have been adding this update like a lot. Like if you go to the forums of the Battlefront 2 on Steam, you know that everyone is just destroying it, calling it trash, it's all that jazz. But we're not talking about that. We're gonna be playing some Star Wars Battlefront with the new update. Hold on. Before we begin, I just want to test something. Oh my god. They fixed the limit thingy. You could just have like... Uh, oh my. They, you could have just... Every single map and... Yo, that's crazy! Because in like, the previous version, you couldn't do that. That's just crazy. So I'll set up like a few maps to see this new version in action. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Alright. So this looks a lot like the older versions. And... Like the older versions of, like if you were to play stars off on like a four by three resolution, and they used to say it looks kind of junky. And especially there's like the Nolan Star, which really looks very annoying. But one positive I do have is it's very. The numbers I can see are big enough for me to read, so that's a plus in my book. So, what you're seeing here is a modded map. That doesn't come with the game. So after this, I'll show you like an official map that came with the game after this. So I'm just starting with the Yadin. You know, the simple Battlefront 1 map. A part of the Xbox DLC. That I, which I used. Which I found a mod to download it. And man, these Xbox DLC conversion maps are really fun. They got the Renvar maps, they got Bespin, all that cool jazz. Okay, if I can get this guy. Now, oh, whatever. So, guys, on to the next map we go. Ooh. Uh, wow, uh, okay. Alright, time to try it out with a official map from the game. So I'm just going to my main, the heavy class. See how 
Everything has been changed. Well, what? Still now as a heavy, even on the newer version. What's also really annoying is that sometimes it'll just change it to the secondary weapon. So if I scroll my mouse down, it'll change it to that. But if I ch do it up, it will still do that. Why? So now I gotta press two, which is even more annoying. I mean, I mean, sure you could change it in the settings, but I always scroll my mouse up to do it. I got the whole like no longer under empire control. We've lost the command post. Take it back. A command post is under imperial control. We've lost And they've reset in my control because we've lost the command post. Take it back. The new update. Come on, die already. Yeah. Oh no, evacuate, evacuate, evacuate! God knows how much I hate these Bothan spies. Okay, good, I didn't change my team damage. I don't know, I'm gonna try and show some Anakin Skywalker gameplay. And after that, I could try and do the space, well, at least one space mission. Space battle to see what has changed for a space battle? So get out of here, bees. You aren't hip. You're ugly. Get out, Vanguard. You aren't wholesome. That was a little bit scary. Okay, get out, all of you. Alright, there's still one more. Okay. Alright. Now to show you the space maps and what I have changed. Alright, next up is space... Oh wait, my bad. Uh... Alright, we're back. Uh... I accidentally, uh... Had it on the one flag capture the flag in April mold still. So that's was kind of dumb. Usually I play more of assault and conquest than I do of capture the flag. So that's kind of a problem for me. I may do a part two where I do other game modes such as capture the flag and hunt, see what's changed with them. Um, and yeah. Their frigate has been destroyed. 
So I'll just show you uh, what's changed for space and then I'll give out my final thoughts. Alright, drop here and then Why would I do that? See, I play. I have. I only have one profile, and this profile has the War of Weapons on. So, I may just end up making another user, so that I don't accidentally use a a War of Weapon during gameplay. Because personally, I don't like to use the war weapons. It kind of makes you feel like a cheater. All right. Personally, you know what would have been better for this version? If, if, as... Personally, what would have been better for this version if is if they were to add in the pixel font from the console version of Battlefront 2. Like... On the top, the there would occasionally be this, these numbers, in a cool pixelated font. I always thought that font looked cool. So why didn't they bring that back? Is my question. Because that font looked pretty cool, to be honest. But no matter. Alright, we gotta go destroy the rest of the... There's... Alright, there's still enough time I can... Oh yeah, no you don't... Ooh. Hold on. Bye bye! Oh! So his overall gameplay just feels is just the exact same as the previous versions. Nothing's changed at all. But UI is different and people complain about it. Personally I wasn't a big fan of the small numbers on the top. Like they are so small to read and sometimes I wasn't even paying attention to them. And then nearly lost a few rounds because of that. Because I wasn't paying attention. The communications relay has been destroyed. Freaking heck. What's that small text? Oh no. But thankfully they fixed it. And that looks good. Okay, I got it. Can't. Noob. Alright. Now there's just one more area we need to take care of. And it's the sensor relay. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Cena has completed a lot of Galactic Conquest deathless. Yeah, I think I could probably do it without dying once. Alright, now I've destroyed every single one. I guess we can.
just fend off the droids in the ship and take out them all the annoying auto turrets. So let's just take care of them. Ayo. Alright, we're almost done. Alright, okay. Do it. Our bridge has been destroyed. Hey, you don't have to... All right. Our communications we did it. We're champs. Swag. All right. Well, I guess that concludes uh this design, this video, I guess. So my final thoughts on this is it's all right, I guess. Some problems is that, I don't know, it just doesn't look as crisp or, you know, I like the fact that they enlarged the top text so as I can pay attention to it more, but I also don't like the fact that the others have been messed with. And overall, whenever you're at the results screen, it just feels way too small. But thank Hopefully the game is still playable, but Galactic Conquest isn't. So like always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you soon!